Well, I'm back. Play more of the next big thing. I just solved that crazy ass puzzle with a little help. Because I needed that help. Now, it's a puzzle that even my friend Sailor Moon Kitty says that it wants to make her revoke her degree. And I agree because that puzzle is insane. We got half of what we need, I guess. We got a beetle and I think we'll use it here. Now that I think about it, the ones in the pond are all males, and mine is a female. I don't know what will happen to when male and female be beetles are put together, actually. I'm not an insect person. Oh wow, all the males are chasing after that one beetle. I hope the female beetle survives. <laughs> and he falls, of course he falls. Of course it's locked. Why would it just be open? Oh, it's locked! Cursed Book of the Dead! Well... Both have a star. Do they fit together? Yes, it does. Touchdown! And now... Don't you dare. You'll end up feeling sorry for me and then I'll have to destroy you. Do I look like my name is Sister Daniela? No. Let's get on with it then. Which one of these five passages is it? Oh, how am I supposed to know? Oh shit, I didn't save before this. I didn't save before this. And why did it suddenly have this black thing there? Uh... I did, I, make a guess, people. Make a guess. Which passage do you want me to read? Oh my god, shit. I should have saved before I did that. I, if, if not, I might have to do that puzzle all over again. <laughs> Oh my god, no. No! Oh shit. <laughs> I hope not, but... I'm gonna make a guess. It's just five fingers out, so... Curved walking stick. Thing that can't be described. Melancholy tortoise. Silly fool! You're waking up the dead! It's to make it more exciting, dear. Um, okay, do I have to read the everything? Hourglass. Girl in profile. Sick bird. You're going to get us all sent to hell, Amenophis! What's bothering you is that you'll be first. Three crews I'm gonna have to read everything. Anachronistic slot machine. Oh, please! Take pity on me, Amenophis! Oh, it just doesn't pay to be a good person. Darling, hand over the pendant and go on your merry way. Now that he had the pendant that controlled Kramha's robots, Dan was in the driver's seat. Now for the false bottom of the sarcophagus. Hurry. Well, this guy's seen better days. Right, Dan. What's his problem? He's in bad shape. He's completely brainless. Someone Finally, stole his brain. Dan had managed to teletransport Big Albert's body to Fly's laboratory. Uh, we were done but with that section, thank goodness. That they didn't have a solution to. Where was his brain? No, Dr. Celsius. For the moment, let's leave Murray out of this. But he's been in contact with Fly. Without the brain, Fly can't reanimate Big Albert. And neither can you. You find that body, Doctor, or you will never see the brain again. But... Dr. Zelsius, you may go now. Sit down, Miss Alea. Dinner will be served shortly. I've already had a bite. <laughs> <laughs> 
In the meantime, okay, so our friend is the bad guy. People don't kidnap me in my home. Oh my god. Oh, you're not kidnapped, my dear. Yes, yes, yes. Extremely kidnapped. No, let's not argue. Within an hour, you'll see things exactly as I do. Until then, I... I'll start by getting rid of you, sir. Then I'll rescue Big Albert's brain, and then I'll get out of here without saying goodbye. Liz, as always, was sincere and direct. She would put Fitz Randolph out of commission, steal Big Albert's brain, and escape from the Zeppelin without saying goodbye. You are disconcerting. I've always said so. But allow me to remind you that my skin is as thick as an alligator's. No, I can't find Oh, she's the, he's an alligator? I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, don't worry. I'll figure something else out. Let's get right to the point. What's going on with Big Albert? Be specific, but don't get your hopes up. Within an hour, I won't tell you anything. Does Big Albert have anything to do with MKO's New Direction? Any monster worth his salt has something to do with the New Direction. And now, you as well. Wait, he turned her into a monster? Is that what happened? What are you planning to do with Big Albert's brain? Don't worry about him. When we find his body and reanimate him, Big Albert will be better than ever. Oh, damn. I didn't expect my friend to be evil. What does Dan Murray have to do with all this? Very little, I hope. He's a good man and it wouldn't be fair to make him suffer. What is MKO's new direction? We're dropping horror flicks. From now on, family pictures, children's films, romantic comedies, musicals. There's something else. What is it? Patience, miss. Tomorrow, you'll find out. You and everyone else. You're insane. What was Big Albert looking for in your office? I'll tell you what he found. Problems. Enough said. What do you want from me? You always seem to know what I'm about to say. And now, can't you guess? I could care less what you want from me. You, your things, your ego. Let's talk. Why do you always get in the way of what I want to do? Why does what you want to do always set you against me? Because you're an evil like bad guy. Deleting the question. <laughs> Come on, where's your sense of humor? My way of joking is to tell the truth. It's the funniest joke in the world. George Bernard Shaw. Within an hour, what will happen? Excuse me? Dr. Zelsius, the pain will pass within an hour. William A. Fitzrandolph, within an hour, you'll see things exactly as I do. I don't know what you're talking about. Me neither, but I'll find out. Okay, that's so weird. I don't get it. What's for She's very dramatic. But if you want something special, tell me, and I'll tell the chef to prepare it. Okay, I can look around, I guess. Let me see first. Give me a sec. Done with the priestess. Okay. Picked at random. Benjamin Franklin and American Life by Walter Isaacson. Looks just like Fitz Randolph. I have enough paintings at home, almost all by Queenie, my pretty sister. It's an early turner. Early turner? No, I didn't come here to steal a painting, but rather a brain. Okay. Mm, I'm more of a refrigerator person. Okay, uh... At least he lets me walk around. Okay, nothing here yet. Oh, stop that. It opens the glass dome that covers the balcony. That is, if it works the same way as in Jack Simmons' Zeppelin, 
that adventurer I interviewed recently. Okay, so I need something. I have nothing now to pull on that, I think. I probably can look at do the anything with the safe with him here. There are two safes, but I'm only interested in the top one because that's where Big Albert's brain is. Okay. It's the cook. Very bad. This should be next to the emergency exit. If I grab it, I would be taking it for granted that I'm planning on falling. And although tripping over things is fun, I'm not in the mood for that today. On second thought, I don't feel like being coherent. Yeah, just take it, just in case. The paring knife, the carving knife, the bread knife, the pate knife. The yeah. little knife is the most harmless. Yeah, grab the knife. We might need it. I don't recognize it. And the label on top looks like the scrawl of someone in a hurry. Looks like the scrawl of someone in a hurry. Why did she repeat that twice? I can look at the stairs. If only there was a center pole, I'd do my Lizalaire reporter firefighter routine. Okay, who's what this? What a lot of things to do. Can I talk with him? Hey, yo, Adrian. Yeah, uh, how do you know my name? I don't know. Is your name Adrian? Yes. Well, good. No need for introductions then. But I still don't know your name. I'm Liz. If you guess, I'll give you a kiss. I wouldn't be able to guess it in a million years. Ah, oh, the kisses I still have yet to give. Okay. What are you making? Buns? Deconstruction art. Molecular cooking. I don't know why she's able to just know everything before people say them. That'd be a superpower. They look like buns. They are breaded cacao sponges with an alginic acid with fresh fennel extract. I don't know what they are. Oh, how nice. They look like buns. The bubbling texturization of the content is enhanced by the subtle roundness that it gets from the mold. What do you think? Mm, they look like buns to me. With the syringe, I imbue the mixture with fresh fennel extract, which explodes in pearls upon contact with the palate. I like you. Know why? Because of the hat. Oh, I'm wearing it because I'm the chef of the Zeppelin. I like it. It's ridiculous. It looks terrible on you, but it makes me laugh. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, what an insult. Sorry about that, robot. She said it, not me. If you're the chef, why are you in the hallway? Because I don't get along with the rest of the kitchen staff. They don't enjoy gastronomic arts. And they don't consider themselves to be artists and put their soul into what they do. They are dehumanizing the kitchen. Okay, I'm afraid of eating what he cooks now. Adrian the chef. Brief bio and interests. I'm the chef. I like cooking. Love it, cooking. I make up recipes. Anything that doesn't have anything to do with cooking? Variety is the spice of life. Thanks. Mm, no, nothing. Well, I am afraid of the cold. You're a robot. The cold. the cold. Of the cold. Of the cold. Of the cold, said Liz. And at that very instant, she decided to help Adrian overcome his terrible phobia. Okay. I'm a lousy cook. Can you give me a simple recipe? Of course. What do you want to learn how to cook? I'm becoming something of a cow. Something that will help me lose weight. Extract of lettuce, denatured with centrifuge cucumber foam, and a touch of vaporized H2O. It also works to inflate balloons. Mmm, I don't get it. Today, I ate cheeky cheeks. I'm in the mood for meat. Medallion of Kobe beef with a dehydrated sake reduction with teriyaki sauce and Himalayan salt. A treat. Something that's 100% cholesterol. Spanish-style potato omelette stuffed with octopus and brie coated in foie gras puree and deep-fried in salami oil. 
A Spanish tapas has an appetizer, although it works better in a sandwich. Nothing. Ella. Ella. Okay. I can go downstairs. I bet the lower floor has a way out to the footbridge and that elevator Dr. Cheeky brought me up in. Hold it, stranger. Oh, neat. A robot from the Wild West. Wanna taste my revolver's hot lid? No, 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 no. Where are your manners? I don't follow etiquette. I follow orders. Of course, it's not that easy. But you'll let me go out to the footbridge, won't you? I swear on the buffaloes. No chance, Greenhorn. Okay, okay. I'll use another route to escape. I probably have to jump down from the balcony area, is what I'm guessing. Is that chicken? Sounds like it. There's tranquilizer darts stuck in it. Let me grab them. The target? This box is better. Why, thank you. I didn't notice that box. This monster was in perverse breath, too. But I can't remember his name, and I interviewed him once. You interviewed the guy? I'm not going to touch him. How he how he end up here? I'm hoping that's a fake one. This. Why? I don't know. Or yes. Who knows? You don't scare me, you know? Music seems a bit loud. I'll turn it down a little bit. Uh, those noises are unmistakable. It's a Malaysian parakeet. I wish I could do something to help it, Liz said to herself. Because it's having a terrible time. Bad I mean, it's locked is, up. Too close. Uh, I have a knife. Can I not cut the thing? It's good for raising and lowering the box. But if it with Fitz Randolph, you never know. Okay, wait, what did you say? When I was eight years old, my mother bought me some green patent leather shoes with gold stars. They were awful, but I wore them without complaining until they got too small for me. What I don't understand is what that has to do with the pulley. You brought it up. I would love to lower the box, but with the parakeet upset like that, I don't dare. Yes! 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 Or, uh, no, no, no. I don't have the strength to hit it. Uh, seven there are guns. Well. You shouldn't cover the hole under any circumstances. What a nag. Firearms make a lot of noise, and my head hurts. More and more. This one which doesn't use bullets because I can't make too much noise. Awesome. Isn't this Deep Dean, the monster from 2,000 Leagues of Undersea Fear? I'm not going to touch him. Okay. Precisely. It's a pistol for tranquilizer darts. I was the second best sharpshooter at the Mendelssohn Club, but now I'm going to fire as if I wanted to be the first. That's how Liz calmed down the dangerous Malaysian parakeet. Is it really dangerous, though? Or are you just too afraid? But how many tentacles does it have? I thought that the Malaysian parakeet never had more than seven. It has tentacles? I won't open the box no matter how asleep it is. But the strap wrapped around it. Mine. 
Okay. Not sure why I need that for, but okay. I don't believe I'll need to tranquilize anyone else, but better safe than sorry. I can tranquilize Fitzgerald. No, wait, wait, wait. Where does this lead? Can I go in? No, it's cold. My uh, chest is very exposed. I'm not going any further. This guy's frozen solid. His style is dubious, but the glasses are pretty. I don't want to bother him. He looks very comfortable and content. I don't think he is content. It's too cold. In the refrigerator from top to bottom and left to right. Lobster, king crab, caviar, blue plastic bag, crab ketchup, seawater, and boxes full of who knows what. On the floor, boxes of surimi. And here, Cuban crabs. I don't want any of this. Or, I do, but I'm not going to be the one that goes in there. It's not red. I don't want it. I don't want to bother him. He looks very comfortable and content. Mm. It's not green. It's not yellow. It's not lavender. It's not orange. It's not pink. I don't want it. It's not white. I don't want it. It's not black. It's not even dark gray. It's blue. I don't want it. Fine. Okay. Uh, dining room? I'll never be able to pierce skin this thick. Fine. Uh, yeah. Hans, it would be no match for Fitz Randolph's rhinoceros skin. Pros, it might get chipped, and then I'll have a bread knife. But I don't have any bread. Or any appetite. And we strongly discourage stealing furniture from a room when the owner is in sight. From Perry Hickok and Richard Smith, How to Steal Without Complicating Your Life. Page 131, paragraph 5. You can remember all that? Jeez. There's nothing here that particularly interests me. Fine. My plan is clear. First, I get Fitz Randolph out of the way. Then I get the brain from the safe. I like to do things in order. Okay. With this ski pole, I could reach it, but I need something to go through the ring to pull it and make it turn or whatever. Oh, I need a case, hook or something. Until I've gotten rid of Fitz Randolph, I'm not even thinking about opening the deck. Oh, uh, okay. A knapsack with a surprise. I decided I wouldn't put it on if, when I bit Dr. Cheeky, he screamed. Mm, okay. It makes me think of my belt. When I woke up, I wasn't wearing it. My grandmother Adele gave it to me. I want to get it back. This has no arms. Okay. If his skin wasn't so thick, I could smother him. But as far as I can tell, I'll only be able to tie him up. Is that not enough to, just to tie him up? Well, okay. I'll cure his phobia to the cold, no question about it. Hey, yo, Adrian.
What happens when you have to take something out of the freezer? I try to avoid it. But if Mr. Fitzrandolph asks me for something frozen, I go in, I grab it, and I get out in a hurry. Okay. Aya. Aya. It's a painting of. Ah! No, 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 no. Miss, why such a dramatic entrance? Are you afraid of something? Hi. No. Yeah. Don't get involved. Twenty twelve one four. Nice curtains. Bye. This is disconcerting. Calm down, Liz. Don't get dramatic. It's a crocodile. A crocodile, yes, but in the painting you can clearly see that it's not alive. So, calm down, okay? Okay. Is she afraid of crocodiles? There's nothing in it that interests me. What I noticed is the man. He looked human. Without his rough skin. That's all. Well, that's what I noticed. Shoot, horse thief. Do you think you can pierce my metal structure with a little dart? Touche. Hasta la vista, partner. Yeah, you should get the rifle gun and shoot the real walk. That'd be much easier. Alaskan king crab sautéed with lobster tails, Cuban crab, cod liver oil, schlingwursten sauce, sturgeon eggs from the prairies, and uh, testicles from an evil duck. Adrian? Mr. Fitzrand. Why is testicles Alaskan from an evil duck? Alaskan king with lobster tails, Cuban crab, cod liver oil, schlingwursten sauce, Sturgeon eggs from the prairies and testicles from an evil duck. Pronto. And wouldn't you prefer a deconstruction of sushi with violet blossom fritters? And... I said pronto, Adrian. I hear you. And as far as Adrian was concerned, Liz had done all she could for him. The rest was up to him. Is she still alive in there? I can't interrupt Adrian in the middle of his shock therapy. Shock therapy is not what I advocate for. Just saying. I'd be crazy to pick that up. Liz, you are. Very. Oh, in that case. Enough said. What is that? It smells like fennel extract. Oh, fennel extract. Okay. This is full of fennel extract. I'm a terrible cook. Let Adrian do it when he's cured. It smells good. It has too strong a smell, and I'm not one for perfume. I like the way I smell. Oh, okay. It has traces of chocolate. Mmm, chocolate. As soon as I escape, I'm making a cake for 12, I'll eat it all myself, and then I'll call the doctor. I don't know why, but something tells me that this is gonna turn out to be nonsense. Yes, yes, yes! Foolish foolishness! Okay. This is no good for skiing, or for a bun mold. Okay. Okay, I'll extract the liquid from a pair of darts. I'm so good at scheming. Okay. I'll never be able to peer. Ah, 
I, I think I know. But my head hurts. I can't think of anything. You'll think of something, trust me. I think I know, okay. I'm a terrible cook. Let Adrian do it when he's cured. I'm a What? I can't do that? Oh my Okay, jeez. Oh, I would love to stroke it. But if it wakes up, goodbye hand. Okay. It's just a pose after all. Okay. What to do? And finally, Liz managed to get away from Fitz Randolph. What I can't remember is how she did it, but it doesn't matter, does it? I, I know I have to do something with this, but how'd I do it? Now, Adrian is inside, struggling with his demons. Ooh, the smell is too intense. It would make me dizzy. I'm a terrible cook. How am I supposed to do it? This can't wear gloves. This can't wear gloves. <sighs> I don't know. Ah, it's full of those tall, rude robots. Better not go in. No, there are lots of robots in there. Okay. Mm, I'm more of a refrigerator person. If his skin wasn't so thick, I could smother him. But as far as I can tell, I'll only be able to tie him up. Schnitzler's tranquilizer darts. Instantaneous mega strength. It's a folding cart. You can't tell, but I know. It reminds me of Stacy, my first babysitter. Only, um, only shorter. There's nothing here that particularly interests me. Okay, yeah, I don't know. And finally, Liz managed to get away from Fitz Randolph. What I can't remember is how she did it, but it doesn't matter, does it? Okay. Yeah, of course he doesn't notice. The first point of Liz's plan had just been completed. Would she manage to steal the brain and escape? A speech about MKO's new direction. Looks like he's going to give it tomorrow. I'll have a good look at it later, when I escape. Yeah, good, good idea. Okay, let's take a look at this. I'll get that brain back, whatever it takes. Okay, can I... The time has come to open the refrigerator. Okay, can I look at him? He's calmed down. Hey, yo! No reaction. I can't... I can't look at him or something?
Mm, no. If there was space between the door and the frame, I would stick the blade in to use it as a lever and make sure it can't open. But I'm just gonna have to live without it. It's me early morning. Yeah, he's just tired at the table, falling asleep. Um, no reading. Okay, um, I can't look at him. I've skimmed it, and it looks like it's about MKO's new direction. I'll read it in detail when I escape. My head hurts too much right now. It's getting worse and worse. Okay, wait. Finally, Liz managed to open the glass dome to secure her escape route. And she did it. She did it. I mean, I need the brain. I need to get the brain. I mean, I can open the dome, but... With the ski pole and the strap of the mold as a hook, I could stretch the ring and make it turn or whatever. I'm turning it. If this works, I'm painting my nails electric blue to celebrate. shouldn't have worked. I don't have any nail polish on me. The best part is that now I have an escape route. I'll jump to the footbridge and take the elevator that's at the end that Dr. Cheeky brought me up in. Another thing accomplished, Liz said to herself. Happy to see that everything was turning out as planned. Oh, I'm not happy. Stupid nail polish. What have I ever done to it? Does it want to make me cry? Does it think it's better than a... Wait... What is that on the ground? It's a... uh... Why can I never get that word out? Doesn't matter. Whatever it's called, it would help me escape. What? Parachute? Underneath the Zeppelin, there's a... a thing. I can't remember what it's called, but it will help me escape. I prefer the footbridge. It has an elevator. Oh. But how do I get the brain? Now that Fitz Randolph was sleeping, maybe Liz could poke around certain things in the dining room. Oh, okay. It's a folding. It reminds only. I knew it folded up. I'm not going to find the combination to open it, so I'll have to improvise a plan B. Is that it? That's how you open it? Ugh! It's heavy! Really? That's how you do it? Yes, that's how I'll make sure it doesn't fall off the cart. Okay, that works, I guess. The belt buckle will work to hook it on. Hooked. Yes, yes, yes. The time has arrived to open the refrigerator. And that's how Liz stole Big Albert's brain from the Zeppelin. You should have seen Dan's face when she arrived. Uh, ah, well... I left something out, didn't I? Oh well, my apologies. This head of mine. Yeah, you you left something out. How we escape? Well, damn, it works.
Well, damn, it worked. <laughs> What's he laughing for, though? Motorcycle coming now. Huh? Liz? What? Who's this? How come us women always have to supply the brains? Yeah, this is the starting uh, game scene. But where is my head? I already covered that part. Yeah, this is the starting scene. So, as soon as Fly reanimated him, Big Albert told them why he had sneaked into Fitzrandolph's office. Chips, Zelsius puts them into the brains of his monster actors so that they'll obey Fitzrandolph. Chips? They're... think of them as little music discs that, when they're inserted into the brain through the ear, broadcast recorded instructions. Like, Pitts Randolph is your master and stuff. Ooh, that sucks. Willie is doing all of this so that the monsters will make family entertainment pictures? There must be something more to it. Yeah, that's a shitty ass reason. That was something that Liz was about to discover. But between her headache, which was getting worse and worse, and being absorbed in her reading, she didn't hear the door. Sorry to interrupt you, gentlemen, but... Would you be so kind as to accompany me? Liz! Run away! Get away! Run! My terrible headache just went away. Mr. Fitzrandolph, how nice to see you. Don't worry, Dan. Mr. Fitzrandolph will take care of everything. Fitzrandolph oh. is fab. Fitzrandolph loves us all. Yeah, she has the chip. Relax, Obviously, she has. Mary. In a minute, I'll implant a chip in your head that's quite similar to the one I put in Miss Allaire. I'm waiting, three eyes. Zelsius has Running really heels, lost no it. one can stop. He believes that I'm going to sit I mean, she stopped herself. Hide together until he puts his chip in me. She Said stopped that. herself. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Your friend the insect will have to wait. I haven't developed a chip for mosquito brains. Yet. He's a mosquito, huh? Zelsius, he always manages to get me irritatedly furious. Relax, Half Pint. We're gonna win this one. Okay. Uh, of course I don't have all of my items. Of course. As he said, he's preparing a chip that will transform me into Fitz Randolph's slave. I have no idea where this leads. You have to be able to get out of a chair first. <laughs> Zelsius locked him up there to humiliate him. As he said, he's pre Okay. Hey, three eyes. Why are you making all that racket? I have a question. One and only one. Where are Big Albert, the poet, and the immaterial man? Right here, in a cell next to my desk, impatiently waiting their turns to get their chips. There's your answer. Can you talk to him more? Preparing my chip. Hey, three eyes, I have a question. One and only one. What have you done with Liz? Oh, we've improved her. Now she's less crazy. She obeys Fitzrandolph, and she accepts my gifts. I don't want to go into You're fucking detail, insane. We scientists also have our needs. Quite yeah. Resolved. You're disgusting. Hey, half pint. What is it, Marie? So. Zelsius made you mad, huh? The worst thing is that I don't have my spittoon on me. I don't know what spittle you're talking about, and I shouldn't want to know. Explain yourself. When I get angry, I salivate. You see, Murray, my saliva is corrosive, like that of flies. It's like a solvent. 
When I get angry, my body generates corrosives of saliva as a defense mechanism against whatever causes the anger. How corrosive? Not enough to corrode the metal of this cage, but enough to leave you without pants. Fascinating. Can you do it at, uh, for my restraints? Do you have good aim spitting, Half Pint? I'm the s second best spitter in the Pendleton Club. Oh, I'll do that last. What did Zelsius tell you while his robots were tying me up and putting you in there? The chip manufacturing process, where they're lodged in the brain, how they work. Oh, poor Zelsius. Poor? Murray, the big problem of scientists like Zelsius is that they can't publish their achievements in scientific journals. Of course they can't. They're so evil. They have to kidnap colleagues like me to share their advances with someone who understands what they're talking about. Do you think you could take Liz's chip out? Possibly. It would be risky, but I trust that I could take it out of her brain cleanly. Okay, I'll risk it. Why is he preparing my chip and not yours? Because each monster needs a different model. You non-monsters, on the other hand, are so alike, he'll put one in you that's identical to the one Liz has. Uh, of course. Of course. I'll call Zelsius and you'll spit in his face. Deal? Murray, I'm a scientist, not a killer. I won't discuss it. Anyway, we'll still be captive. At any moment, someone's going to come. See Zelsius, and our situation is going to get worse. We are kidnapped. You could just explain that to the authorities, you know, the police. Right? You could spit on Celsius and then spit on my restraints and I could get out. Spit for me. <laughs> what a guy. How could I spit on you? Take good aim. I want your corrosive spittle to eat away the strap on my left hand. But that's recklessly risky. What if I miss? Don't worry about me. I still have the right one to break your face. Go for it. <laughs> know something? Something's wrong when I feel the need to ask an eminent scientist if he knows the differences between the words hand and foot. I'm sorry, Murray, but y you're very far away. Uh... My feet are tied and... Okay, one goal. It doesn't go down any lower? Bingo. Sorry, the... Oh, uh... Hey, half pint. What is it, Murray? Can you do my hands now? Okay, I'll talk to him more. What did Celsius tell you while his robots were tying me up and putting you in there? The chip manufacturing process, where they're lodged in the brain, how they work. Oh, poor Celsius. Fitz Randolph has never proposed doing anything illegal to you? Never. Even though he has a friend who does propose these things. Illuminate me. He told me, imagine that I had a friend that proposed that you create alienating chips to put in people's brains. <coughs> what would you say? I told him that it would be morally reprehensible and that I was glad that his friend was imaginary. Fascinating. Okay. Try spitting on me again. Okay, I'll try from here. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, what's wrong now? I'm out of saliva, Murray. My mouth is terribly dry. Relax. Okay, I'll talk to Zolcius again. Hey, three eyes, I have a question. One and only one. Do you know that the half pint wants to play you for a sucker? What? He says you're such an imbecile that he's going to escape right out from under your nose without you noticing. Oh, yes? And he can't be completely mistaken because he's lowered the cage and you haven't noticed. Oh, disgusting insect. He's not going to want to try that again. Wait, did I just kill him? So, half pint, what's the anger level? 
Overflowingly high. Drool level? Highly overflowing. Do me a favor. Don't miss. And without further ado, Dan was finally free. He freed Professor Fly immediately and got ready to do something he'd been mulling over in his head for a while. Like beat up Zelsius? Hey, three hours. <coughs> Dr. Zelsius, Mr. Fitzrandolph says that. Hey, yo, Professor, have they convinced you yet? Uh, yes. Murray! We have a visitor, shouted Fly. Dan welcomed the visitor with his usual grace, meaning that he immediately tied her up. Then Fly demonstrated his scientific ability by cleanly extracting the chip from Liz's brain. Hey, nice! Oh, what? It broke. Her little piece is still lodged in her brain and I... Oh, fuck! So, what do we do now? What, 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 what do we do? Don't give up. Please, miss, don't you die. Oh, we're playing in the flashback now? Oh my god. What is this? So she's... Ayo, hey, poet. Poet, I am Jewish. You fly. Face fear. Shame overcome. Never give up. Don't you die. The poet of pain's message could not have been more clear. If she wanted to save herself, Liz would have to discover her one true. Ooh, wish. somehow the poet can As go so, into the mind would first have of, to face of her the lady just by touching her. Her greatest shame. But nice. How do, I do that? She asked herself. Hmm. If there's nothing here, well, there's something there now. How kind. Well, it's your own mind, obviously. Huh? What crazy ass is this? 80th floor, 11th floor, 14th? What uh, the hell? But that's me. Now I have gone completely crazy. You've always been crazy, and this is your mind. Have you not figured that out yet? Okay, he can't hear. Crazy and deaf. Well, I guess this is the perfect place to end for tonight. Because I'm going to be streaming tomorrow afternoon as well. As I said. Alright. Uh, so... I'm gonna go for something to eat. You know, and then sleep. And wake up early tomorrow to stream in the afternoon. No, I don't want to sleep too late, obviously, because I do still have to work on Monday. But yeah. It's been fun. It's been short. I did start a bit later than usual. Uh, about an hour later. My bad. I lost track of time scrolling through, like, TikTok and stuff. Okay. But, yeah, it's been fun. This game, actually, as bizarre as it is, like I said, I really enjoy it. it it's a really good game. You know? It's, it's so bizarre that it's good. You know, the story. Because they can do anything with hu humans and monsters and stuff. It's, it's nice. But yeah, thank y'all uh, who dropped by. Yeah, it's it bizarre, but it keeps us on our toes. Like the storyline. You never expect a twist or, or what they're going to do next. Because it's not just like, you know, uh, Nancy Drew you know, or Agatha Christie where it's like, you know, it's a mystery game, right? As fun as they are, because it's it's realistic. It's supposed to be set in like the real world, you know, a world that's similar to ours. So it, there have to be certain rules. Well, I say certain rules because Nancy Drew tends to break that sometimes too. Uh, but there is a certain sense of realisticness to it. But this game is just out there, and it's good. It's good. Because uh, when I bought it, I never even read up much about the game. Honestly, it was a sale and all the games are really cheap in a bundle and I just bought them all. So yeah, I, I, didn't I don't regret that though. I don't regret that. It's pretty good. 
But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and thank you, Mr. Back Gaming, for uh subscribing. You know, and I will check Discord and do all the final touches and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I will play it tomorrow. And uh, I will be able to stream longer tomorrow because it's the afternoon, right? Uh, so I will be able to play a bit of Orient Express as well. Uh, you know, for about half an hour or so, you no know, 40 minutes. Uh, but yeah, for, for tonight, it's a shorter stream. But tomorrow, I'll be back and you know, I'll, I'll play this game uh, much longer for about three hours. And then I'll, I'll finish off with Orient Express. So yeah, that is it for tonight. I'm just going to go eat watch a bit of stream and then go to sleep i won't be out for too long but yeah thank you everyone for watching everyone who's been here even if you're lurking i appreciate you and if you guys are watching this later whether on twitch or youtube although youtube you know have to watch it like much later <laughs> no now that I'm affiliate and stuff i can't you know that you have to, I have to upload my streams like at least a week after or something. But I have all my videos scheduled, so it's that, right? But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. Again, I could not have become an affiliate without you guys. Okay, every single one of you. I really appreciate it. Okay, and I'll see you guys tomorrow afternoon <laughs> in about, I would say 10 hours? 10 hours? Mm -hmm. it'll be nighttime for you guys it'll be afternoon for me but yeah i'll see you then okay again thank you so much bye